Hi, my name's Leanna, and this is from shade 5. Um, curler pushing stone. The figure below shows six identical curling stones that are being pushed horizontally along the ice by the thrower. For each stone, the instantaneous velocity and acceleration of the stones are given. The positive direction is to the right. Assume the ice is frictionless for the curling stones. Okay, that means that each mass, each of the masses are the same because they're identical. And the, the force diagrams for all of these curling stones would kind of look like um, they would have normal force going upward in one direction and they would have weight going down in the other direction but because it's only moving horizontally across the ice um, the vector lengths would be equal and then we would have the force of the thrower going in we'll call it positive to the right going to the right and because there's no friction we would not have any force going to the left in the negative direction we're only moving to the right Okay, so rank these stones on the basis of the magnitude of the force the thrower is exerting on them at the instant shown. We're basically just ranking on how big the force is, the magnitude of the thrower exerting on the stone, each stone. And like previous problems, like the previous curler problem, we can just ignore velocity because we're only working with force and since there, we're ignoring friction we know that the force in the positive direction the force of the thrower is actually going to be our net force and what is our equation for net force the sum of all forces well it equals the mass times acceleration and because the masses for each of these curler stones is identical they're all the same. We only have to look at the acceleration to see which which magnitude is greater. And three of them, A, E, and C, have an acceleration of one meters per second squared. And D, B, and F have two meter per second squared, two meters per second squared as the acceleration. Put that into the equation, and you'll find that D, B, and F with 2 meters per second squared are going to end up with a greater net force than A, E, and C. But we're only dealing with two, two numbers for net forces because D, B, and F have the same due to the same acceleration and E, C, and A also have the same but different from D, B, and F in terms of the net force. But actually we're, we're not answering, um, we're looking at the force of the thrower, and like I said, the force of the thrower is our net force, in this problem at least. Okay, thanks for watching.